This here is a Montec HP 140 ARGB PWM 140mm fan and usually I am quite happy with Montec. They usually got that price to performance ratio which makes it hard to even consider something like let's say Nokia from another category as even an option. But this time it's just like... Uh... It's kind of weird. But before that, these HP 140s exist in a single or a triple pack and in white and black. As of now, there is no HP 120 fan around, so the HP series, like in general, is kind of exclusive 140mm fan only. That said, the same applies in reverse to the GF series, because there is no GF 140, there's just like a GF 120, so... Yeah, no idea why that's the case, but uh, okay. In a triple pack of those, you will get three fans, quelle surprise, a set of fan and radiator screws, and this Montec ARGB and PWM hub. Speaking of which, this is like the most positive thing about this review. This hub is really great. It takes SATA power, PVM and 3-pin ARGB in and 6 ARGB and PVM out. The white plug will give you the Tacho signal, so if you're reading the fan speed, this is the one that will give you the actual fan speed and all the other ones will just do the same thing in percent or percent wise for the fans. Other than that, the hub is nicely covered with a half see-through plastic shell. There are magnets on the back to attach it to the most random spots in a case and that's really it. It's easy. It looks nice. It's, 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 it's a fine hub. The only thing I would have wished for is a rating for the PWM ports. So far, there is no info how many amps these can push or survive, which is kind of unfortunate. It's not impossible though. I could find it out. But on the other hand, that would imply me blowing out a port and that in turn is again unfortunate. So yeah. I won't do that. With the positive and unfortunate stuff out of the way, let's talk about the fan. It's a 140mm fan, we got 9 not particularly heavily bent wings, nothing out of the ordinary. Something that is kinda out of the ordinary, these fans are not exactly the ones that are depicted on the box, on Amazon, on Montex website. Everywhere they portray them with rubber pieces on the corner. Mine have none. Actually none of my three samples have any. And if you're thinking that I might just think there should be a rubber, no, there is a explosion image on Montex product page where there is clearly a rubber in the picture. Now I do not know if there should have been a rubber or even plastic because we actually don't even know if it is a rubber, it, it could have also been a plastic. So we do not know if it should have been there from the get-go or if I should have gotten like let, let's say a sheet with uh, with with rubbers, with glue, and I should have glued them on there myself. I do not know. I don't care. There is no rubber in the box, no rubber on the fan. That's not okay. This is not okay. Running a fan without a rubber can leave you with a bunch of NFA 8s. Other than that, the specs are okay. It says up to 600 RPM with a base 600 RPM minimum, so not particularly slow if you really wanted to have them run like inaudible, with up to 95.61 CFM and up to 2.95 mm of H2O, which at 1600 RPM this thing or these things are supposed to beat the shit out of a 1900 RPM Arctic P14 AIGB. Yeah, it is not. First up, we benchmarked the HP 140s on our case simulator, a wooden box where we got an intake and exhaust fan, and we measure how well the fans can recycle the air within the box by measuring the above ambient temperature of the CPU underneath a passive Nokia P1. For those numbers, we do mix 140s and 120mm fans because it's supposed to represent a case, and most cases allow for both 140s and 20s, usually in the front, but also most of the time nowadays in, in the back, so that makes sense to me. Spinning at max, the HP 140 managed to keep the temperature at 43.8 degrees C above ambient, which, yeah, it's not that bad. It's pretty much in line with a Mobius 140p from Cooler Master or Nokia's older A14 and Redux P14, but as for the comparison to a P14 ARGB from Arctic, this is not what blowing away should look like. So, okay, max performance is let's say at most okay and now let's talk about noise for that we make it spin slower and slower while noting down the noise and performance to create noise performance curve and there oof now let's not paint everything black if we compare it to for example montex metal 120 pro which given it's a 120 fan but still there is a certain benefit that the 140 millimeter form factor does bring to the table Across the whole spectrum, the HP 140 does generally keep a slightly better noise to performance ratio. But if we compare it to things like the Corsair Alex 140 for example, 
it's slightly lacking behind in the middle and quite a lot at max. The Lightwings 140 high speed are funnily enough way better at 190% fan speed and from there the HP 140s do catch up eventually. But for example the before mentioned Arctic P14 ARGBs or Nokia NF A14 G2s, no, they are significantly better in both noise, performance, a combination of the two and if I squeeze my eyes really really tight they are still better. Which does beg the question how the hell did Montec come up with these CFM numbers? But hey, it's a different company, different let's say measurement equipment and, and so on and so on, so you end up in a situation where you just cannot trust whatever fan cooler or whatever spec uh, or whatever stat is on the back of the box. But what about radiators? We measure radiator performance by using a 60mm thick 10 fpi alpha cool monster rat where we measure the water temperature of the loop to know how low the fan can keep the water above ambient. And at 10.1 degrees C above ambient the result of the HP 140's ARGB is well better than expected. I, I will give it that. Now it's outperforming things like the Arctic P14 ARGB or the Nokia NF A14 X25 G2 at max speed. But yeah. There is still noise and if we measure the performance and noise across the whole spectrum the HP 140 ARGBs just fall back behind again. Oh and I mean all the fans that we compared it to are beating it. Sure you can argue that it hits slightly harder at max but this noise to performance curve on rats and this one for cases they do paint a pretty complete picture. It's just not a good fan. Funnily enough, even all the imagery on Montex website do depict this thing as a case fan. It's kinda better as a radiator fan after all. I mean the ratio still sucks, but at least you can say that it hits harder than an Nokia NF A14 G2 and, and that's, that's at least something. I mean hey, we, we got one point. Price-wise, it's another mat again. As a single pack, I can find them for around 17 or 16 euros here, depending on the color. And a triple pack is a bit more interesting. Now it's 15 bucks per fan. And you get that really fancy and really cool PWM hub. So yeah, that, that's kind of cool. That said, I will certainly not recommend them. They are not particularly quiet, neither as case nor radiator fans. And sure, they might have that, that kick in, uh, in a red performance, but that, that's just it. Normalize that to anything, to any noise level, to any performance level and they will just lose against almost everything. Then there is the whole catastrophe with the missing rubber pads on the corners which again they are clearly present on Amazon, they are clearly present on Montex website but not on my fans, I don't like that. And the build quality is also a thing. Sure the reinforcements on the frame make it surprisingly sturdy like to say let, to let, let's say squeeze force, they are pre um, not that easily squeezable. You can squeeze them but it takes a lot of force but twist the frame and, and yeah you, you can you can twist it away. It's yeah. not to mention the fact that there are huge holes present in between the corners and the rest of the frame. Speak about lost performance on radiators. The 50 centimeter long PVM and ARGB cable is relatively long but neither is it sleeved nor anything else and not even a splitter is attached to it. Sure there is the hub so we, we got that but I just prefer to daisy chain the crap out of my fans. That said, the ARGB is kind of impressive. I mean, it's simple. You got that central LED that illuminates the whole thing and the light does reach the outer border, which is rare for a 140mm fan, or at least for the fans where the light comes solely from the central hub. But other than the RGB and the included hub, I mean, there is just little positive to, to say about them. I mean, if there wasn't a thing about the missing pads, I would have said, sure, they, they will go for 15 bucks, so they aren't that bad. But the thing is just, if there is a missing pad on mine, what is missing uh, in another box? No, to be honest, I don't even think that they are missing. I think somebody screwed up with the 3Ds and Montec just ran with it. Uh, these should not be on there, but that's Montec's problem, not yours, but for you, just get another fan. 
But okay, this should be everything on the Montag HP 140 ARGB and at this point a huge thank you to Montag for sending them over. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to finance the investigation on the missing rubber pads on my HP 140s. We gotta find out who lost them. I think it's GLS. For those living in Germany, Luxembourg, or whatever other country where GLS is present, I think you will get the joke. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Corsair IQ Link LX140. They might be more expensive than these here, but at least they are better. And there is nothing missing from the box. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.